the four things Alex mentioned here are really like the reason why code review is so fundamental. And I think in aggregate, one of the things that manifests as a result of all that is that code review is how you create culture. It really is a big part of how engineering teams communicate and transfer culture between the people on their team. One thing I want to zoom in on is number one. And Alex mentioned that, you know, increased code quality is kind of this obvious thing, but one nuance behind that that I didn't realize until much, much later in my career is that the primary purpose of code review is not to find bugs. Here's a study that I, a screenshot that I grabbed from Microsoft, like the Microsoft research. And they actually said in 2015, these two people, they said code reviews do not find bugs how the current code review best practice system slows us down. The thing that's really interesting here is that, you know, when I was early on in my career, I thought that, okay, I'm gonna write code. And the purpose of code review is to basically provide a fail safe mechanism. So even if I screw up, which, you know, most people new to the company are gonna screw up, I have my tech lead or I have my coworker who will catch bugs for me. And so if I mess up, it's actually not entirely my fault. It's my tech lead's fault or like someone else who reviewed my code. They're also gonna share the blame with me. And that's actually not correct. The purpose of code review is not to find bugs, or at least it should not be the primary purpose of code review. And the studies show that even if you add multiple layers of code review, so, you know, I would say like at Facebook, the vast majority of the company, you have one code review. Once you get one green check mark, you can land the code, you know, like commit it to the main line. At Pinterest, which is where I worked before, depending on what code you were touching, you often needed two code reviews. So you needed one person and then you need a secondary person who was like maybe more equipped to understand that language or that module, they also needed to approve your code change. And even then, um, the number of bugs that you would get didn't actually go down. So like introducing like five layers of code review is like a completely stupid idea because it'll really dramatically slow you down. And it actually will not result in fewer functionality bugs at the end of the day. The thing to keep in mind here is that don't punt the responsibility of testing and bug finding to your code reviewer. If you're writing code, the buck stops with you. You are going to be responsible for answering why something broke. You can't blame your tech lead or the person who reviewed your code for not catching a bug. And again, the purpose of code review is not to catch bugs. So that shouldn't really be on that person. The core benefit of code review is really knowledge transfer about like, here's what's happening in the code base. Here's what's changing. And also culture transfer. Like here's like how we interact. Here's how I transfer my knowledge to you.